A very good evening. Welcome to a very chilly Starfire Stadium here in Seattle. Dan Powell with you alongside the super coach Pete Steinberg. Pete, it's a rematch of the 2019 semi-final. Seattle obviously got the win in that one. Toronto back here tonight looking for revenge. Dutrois and Lesage on one side for the Arrows. Taking on Barton and Hasler. An all-Canadian affair in the midfield. Both the sides. Penalty is good off the boot of Malcolm. It's the trenches here tonight the defending champions Seattle scrum comes down for Smith he goes off the back out the back he plays to Turner Turner drifting Turner irrepressible they will not stop Matt Turner and there's the opening five pointer of the evening the Seawolves they give their fans something to cheer about Wanui in New Zealand is his home he looks to add another three points. Good. So the ability to move Malcolm to 15 has been so critical for Toronto. Ferguson quickly. Oh, big hit comes in there. Yep. Dealer Vega on the receiving end. As now they go wide, they poke through the other side. More. Dan Moore, he dots it down for the try. Very confident we have timeout. Maybe going to look at an obstruction and the sideline here. Well, Dan Moore is a great finisher. And look at this line by Lesage on the outside. And that pass, he went to the left, pass to the right, and a great finish. Really, really beautiful. But it's the seawall. Oh, it's Barton. So it's Canadian on Canadian action there. It'll be the winger Staller here with a shot just inside the 40 meter line. Well within his range. Open the scoring in the second half. Flag to go in the air. Three points for Staller. Three points for Seattle. Malcolm, ice running through the veins of the fullback, no mistakes. 16 points to 10. The referee, Scott Green, just making sure he's talking them out of penalties. He says, okay. when there's a clear and kick, ten, everyone ten has to be behind. Yep. Otherwise, you're offside. And it's a great way of talking players and working with the referee. Sammy the boot strikes again. Flags go up, another three points. 19 points to 10. That mindset of being excited but patient. Well, I think it's all about belief, and it's having belief in the systems and the approaches that you have, and not trying to force things. And I think that's what Kias was talking about. Under pressure, don't force things. Just believe in your systems and execute. Well. Sammy the boot he has been absolutely unbelievable tonight. Another penalty from long range. And he they continue to push here close to the try line. Hands away. Hands away, Blue. Close again. Well, this would be a big blow. That's going to be good. Over the line they go. The forwards get it done this time. And look at the Arrows players rushing in. It's the big man, Lucas Rumble. There he's it. It's all between the ears, says Big Rumble. Five, five. And this was a real forwards try. It's all about the battle of the shoulders. Who's lower? You yeah, can we'll see the consistently Toronto get lower, able to use their the shoulders, ball. get their shoulders below. You can see the fight, holding onto the ball, supporters coming over the top and being very, very patient. And then the actual goalpost itself is part of the try line so if you touch the ball to the goalpost that counts as a try well they share the top of the eastern conference with rugby atl at the moment also undefeated playing tomorrow old glory get the win on the road against houston earlier tonight so they're two and one so i agree with you pete i think this is the last penalty i take down on that end of the field if it's yep. successful of course it's successful it's semi the boot never misses so keep them down this end and finish Stay on a high in front of this crowd
Big scrum, hutting off the back. He'll get a consolation try for Seattle. That one's for the fans. It'll be too little, too late in the big scheme of things. 32 points to 15 with the kick to come. There'll be no thoughts of kicking here for Seattle. They're going to run this one. There's a clock almost expires here as we approach 80 minutes. Toronto. Here we go, boys. Up we get. A little bit of revenge for that loss. And they'll put the icing on the cake as Dan Moore gets his second at the match. And the arrows, there's the exclamation mark on this performance. 37-17 with a kick to come. I was just going to say maybe a little revenge for that semi-final loss. I'm sure they won't be satisfied, though, until they avenge it in a semi-final match. Well, Dan, you and I both know that while it hasn't been a big conversation for the Toronto Arrows, it has been a conversation this week. They felt like they the first 20 minutes against Seattle in the semi-final was a problem so. yeah, for them. Yeah, and after that, they were actually the better team. So they came out here with some real determination and the pressure. I mean, there's not much Seattle can do. They're trying to do something, but what I'll say... Could be a point. That's home field advantage. It's a long trip from Toronto to Atlanta. Of course, I'm forecasting you know, 13 weeks into the future here. Well, it's wonderful so far. All these games have been pretty competitive. Even this game was very competitive in the first half. You can just see that the lack of kicking game was a struggle for Toronto. Well, conversion successful from Sam Malcolm. 39-17. The Toronto Arrows go on the road and get a huge win over the defending champions.